Tell me, what's your measuring stick? What's your measuring stick? Are you measuring your success, your failure, your pace, whether or not you're on target on something that's realistic for you and your life, your investment, the time that you have to put in, the money that you have to put in, the energy that you have to put in, the knowledge that you came to the table with? Y'all, this all matters. It all matters. If you are lining yourself up next to somebody who's been doing business for 20 years and they had thousands and thousands of dollars to invest and 20 plus hours a week to dedicate to their business, you're dang right they're moving faster than you. There's no shame in that. There's no problem. There's no anything. That's just fact. And guess what? At the end of the day, that doesn't matter <laughs> because their pace is not your pace. And even if they started with the same exact, which is very, very rare, by the way, no one has the same exact circumstances, the same family, the same money, the same time, the same energy, the same knowledge that they're bringing to the table. All of those things factor in to everyone's success. But what's really important is to look at how far you've come. And if you're feeling rushed and burned out and pulling your hair out every day and wondering how, when, how and when you're ever going to get done, it's really time to slow down and look at what you really need and what you really want. And are you on the right path to get there? What is it that you're focused on? focused on, obsessed with, constantly thinking about. Because you are the only measuring stick for your own success. Comparing yourself to others and their progress and their business and their blessings and their things are not going to help you at all. Your circumstances in life is, are different. And that's okay. And your pace can be different as well. I want you to really caution yourself next time you hear words like don't miss out and hurry up and take action now. Yeah, those are great, great things. And it forces us into decision making, which is also great. We definitely need to be making decisions in life and, make, and, and not always overthinking and sitting on the fence. But in business, generally speaking, people think more is better, bigger is better, faster is better. But I'm here to tell you, it's not the case. My biggest piece of advice for people in business is start where you are and use what you've got. You know that some people start this business and they put all in and they put so much money and time and effort into it only to get three months down the road and realize they absolutely hate it. Start small, take small steps towards something you want. But deciding what you want is the first step. Deciding what you want. 